Hello Pisces, this is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at the energy of December 2017, the final stretch. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. In fact, on my website I have discounts all through December. And a new place you can find me is Instant Go, instantly, on, on an awesome app. So go find it, Instant Go, and I have it linked down below. All right, let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading and in the divine. What messages, guidance do you have for my Piscean beauties this, this beautiful December? All right, for Pisces, what energy, guidance for Pisces? Hmm. And the energy that's coming in from November into December is justice. So with the justice card, let's take care of business, okay, Pisces? And then November had some loose ends that you needed to take care of. It's time to take care of them in December so that it doesn't, you know, uh, color what happens through the remainder of the month. But justice is like, take care of it now, please. <clears throat> then we have the king... I'm sorry, Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands. Move everything up a little bit. Nine of Swords. And the Fool reversed. The Empress reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands. The Ace of Swords. The Four of Discs reversed. And the Universe. Okay. The, the universe is coming up a lot for people. Um, you know, Saturn is shifting. It is going to ingress into um, Capricorn this month. So uh, it's shifting its energy. So And the universe is ruled by Saturn. So a lot of the shifts are happening for people um, in December. All right. So let's see here. Where to start? You are anxious in December. You are overwhelmed. You've got a lot on your plate, and the Knight of Cups is just loading it on. Like, the Knight of Cups is like, here you go. Here you go. Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And so you take all the burden, and it's stressing you out. Like, you just want to let go. You want to enjoy your time, but you can't do it. It's like, this is not the time to be... Um, to be naive this is not the time to be foot loose and fancy free like you've got it you've got to hunker down but it's hard for you to hunker down because you don't feel inspired you don't feel um, you know a drive you don't feel a driving force to get get all this work done and so but you have to like in a way fight against it because the Queen of Wands in reverse like this is a this is a, a you know it's a negative person, but like I'm trying to see what in the world are they doing? What are they doing for you, or what are they doing to you? Because the Ten of Wands is like you have so much on your plate, and all of it has potential, but you can't do it all. What are you going to choose? But right below we have this Queen of Wands, who is uh, oh okay. Yeah, so because we have the Four of Wands in reverse, too. So the Queen of Wands is trying to take away some of these choices. And not necessarily, like, choices that you want. I mean, you want them all, but, like, she's not trying to take away the best of choices. She's trying to, to kind of, in a way, confuse the situation so you don't know which ones to hold on to. 
like what is you know I'm gonna pull an extra card on this because she's just not coming into um, clear view for me and I say she but it could be a he you know that okay what is this Queen of Wands about what is this Queen of Wands explain her situation for the Pisces okay this one Okay, King of Discs. All right, so this makes a lot of sense to me now. All right, so Pisces, there's somebody in your life that really loves you, and it's an Earth sign, and you really care about them. So it's going to be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And the Queen of Wands wants to be with this person, wants this person to love them more than you. And so they, they're, like, in a way, they're trying to you know, take away the beauty of you, take away like this footloose fancy free. Like that's why you don't feel this way is because they're kind of, they're kind of filtering that into you. They're trying to make you feel that way. And you have to fight this. Okay. You have to fight this because if you don't, you're not going to get this ace of, of swords beginning. You know, this is in reverse. And this is a this is a situation, this is an idea, this is a thought that you really need to have so that you can plant the seed and continue on to your to your universe, to your world. But like they're trying to block this and you have to fight against it. You have to fight against this queen of swords. And this this king of discs energy is somebody who wants to support you, who wants to love you, but it's hard for them to come in when this Queen of Wands is, you know, being a jerk, being a, a big old jerk. But you can't allow them to, to dictate your life. You can't allow them to um, taint how others see you. All right, so don't worry about this person. Really, you need to focus on these choices that you need to make in December. You need to focus on, on all of these wands, all of these ideas, all of these projects that have been thrown your way, and which ones do you want to do? And while you're making this decision, you are intuitive. You are psychic Pisces. It's just your natural being. But you have to ground it in reality instead of, of taking that what may come may come i'm ready for anything because this the fool is in reverse and so this is um you know not really thinking things through and just going going for it and that is going to cause a lot of turmoil in your in your passion in your love in relationship in your own creativity um if you do that it's going to just put like a kink in the chain Because I, I love that we have the world down here, but it's like, it's so hard to get to right now. It's, you know, it's more like this reading is like all up here and then the world is like over on its own, <laughs> you know? Because a four of discs in reverse is kind of, um, it's not kind of, it is. It's uh, just not being able to save, not being able to get there, not being able to hold on and grasp what you feel is yours. And this king of pentacles, of discs, is really um, holding some of the keys to, to getting down to the universe. So you have to fight against the urge to listen to this queen of wands. Because we have the Knight of Cups, you know, upright too. And like I said, they're offering you a lot of choices. They're coming in to say, hey, what do you want to do? Because I'm ready. I'm ready to, to help you. I'm ready to be a partner with you. I'm ready to get you set up. So what do you want to do, Pisces? And you're like, I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> So because you're so confused, you gotta you've gotta simplify. And the reason, you know, it's so important for you to simplify, and a great way to simplify is to take care of the loose ends from November. 
All right, so let's uh, pull from the Noah Nafu deck, the visionary cards, just to bring it together. The Watcher. There you go. Let me pull from the book and read it to you. The Watcher. Try looking at a situation from a distance, as if you are hiding in a jungle and observing something from a distance without being noticed. This distance will give you clarity and objectivity to help you understand the situation better. Your vantage point is much more limited when you are too close to something. Better to get distance before taking action. Get distance from that lovely Queen of Wands who's just trying to wreak havoc on your life. I do feel like in a way that this Queen of Wands is a family member, like I get mom, I get a mom vibe off of it, like auntie, grandma vibe, and they're just, I think they're, they might be jealous of a relationship, like with your, um, with your father or, you know, with a sibling or, you know, they, they want to have a closer relationship with, with someone and you already have that close relationship. So, you know, they, they're trying to, like, cut you off because they, they want to be closer to someone, just like you are. All right? So, um, you know, step back and realize. Have some compassion for this, for this person, okay? Because what they really want is to be loved, and they don't feel loved, and they don't feel acknowledged, okay? And so that's why they're going about it in this way is, like, you are loved and you are acknowledged, Pisces, and they want that too. Not necessarily saying that they want to be you, but they want that feeling of belonging. All right? So even though their actions are despicable and are not okay to, to be, understand where it is coming from. Because if you understand where it's springing from, then it will be easier for you to combat and easier for you to accept let go of, and and also fix within your own life. Okay? <sighs> okay. Again, if you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. And you can also find me on Instant Go now, instantly. It's an, it's an app. Go find it. It's awesome. And remember, listen to your heart, and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.